Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what's up? I'm so glad you are here. Returning and channel members, channel members, how are you doing? Contina, Justin, Kasia, Leanne, Swift Bean, um, Crystal Abundance, um, Contina, Kenbees, Kaden again. Hey, y'all, what's up? First things first, we're going to get into Cardi B, okay? It seems like there's some tea with her or whatever. Um, she's online crashing out and cussing out fans on Thanksgiving Day, okay? Yes, she was recently under fire because she's cussing out fans on Thanksgiving Day when you're supposed to be happy and thankful. Yeah, she's up here mad and screaming. No, no, Hi. no, 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 no. Let's talk business. Let's talk about your yeah, music. Yeah, bitch, I know it's you, bitch. Let's talk about your bitch right fucking now. I'm going to your bitch right fucking music. now. And it better be not fucking you. I'm going to violate you. I'm going to violate you. I'm going to violate you. Let's talk about your music. Huh? Let's talk about your motherfucking job, bitch. You got a motherfucking job, bitch? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so send that money on. Send that motherfucking money on it. What is really going on here? It's giving scary. It's giving um, the demons are taking over. It's giving like mental hospital. It's giving like we need to get you some help immediately. Like this is not normal. Okay, you're doing all this because your fan asks you for some new music. Like even if you're playing, this reaction is just weird. It shows you how you really feel. I feel like there's truth to every single joke. So you doing all this? Go get a job. Where's your job at? What? Your fan is asking about music and you're telling them to go get a job? You're telling them to go to their jobs? That's just very weird. You're mad because your fan is telling you to do your job as a musician? That's just sickening. Now, honestly, I feel like Cardi B, um, she needs to just stop going on these spaces, like engaging with her fans until her music comes out. Because as of right now, they're online, like acting like they haven't had music in years. And they haven't. Like they haven't got a full body of work since Trump's first presidency term mind you it's been a whole other term and he's reluctant again okay that's how long it's been since this bitch dropped an album okay no shade at all okay something is missing but i do think that personally her fans are just excited you know imagine your favorite artist is online teasing new music and then you ask your favorite artist about that music and then they shut you down and say go get a job um first of all why y'all even still fans of her you must have like like, you must be sick in the mind, too. Why are you fans of this lady if she's going to cuss you out? Something is not clicking here. Something is not adding up here. Something is not really, you know, making sense in any of this. And honestly, if I was a Barty Gang member, I would have been, 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 been told her ass to get the hell up. I would have, like, I would have, if I was a fan of Cardi B, she, the album would have been out by now. The album would have been out by, by I promise you, y'all. I would have been in that DM every day. I would have been messaging her every single second. Okay, while she's at labor, I'm finding a way to get hack her FaceTime call and I'm calling her. Okay, that's what Barty Gang needs to do is harass her. Continue to harass her. Don't stop. Okay, uh, but I just feel bad for y'all. It's, it's like talking to a wall, a brick wall. Like, <laughs> you're wasting your time. It's not coming out and it's okay. It's okay. She has other priorities right now. And, um, you know. I guess life just happens how it's supposed to. Moving on to Wheezy F, baby. Please say the baby. <laughs> mm, what happened? I don't know. I bit my tongue just now. So anyway, congratulations to Lil Wayne. He has just been awarded the New Orleans Walk of Fame. Okay. Um, and this is the first ever star on the New Orleans Walk of Fame. Okay. So congratulations to Dwayne. Michael Carter, okay, aka Lil Wayne, okay. Round of applause, round of applause. Why, 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 why y'all not clapping? No, for real. Why? Oh, y'all saying that they made an award for him because he's always crying about. Okay, look, look, look. Stop. Just stop it, okay. Um, Wayne is getting backlash because they saying that Wayne only got this award because he keeps crying about being being treated unfairly and being. Um, you know, mistreated from the Super Bowl halftime show and, you know, Kendrick Lamar dissing him, all this rah rah. They're saying that Wayne only got this because of sympathy, not because of genuine love. Stop. Please stop the games, okay? Please stop. All right. Um, imagine calling Lil Wayne a crybaby. Wayne is a legend. Like, y'all, I think, I think y'all are forgetting who Wayne is. And I don't blame y'all. A lot of, a lot of people are, the new generation. Now, I'm included in that generation too, but I grew up on Young Money. I grew up on, on that. So I know Wayne's impact, right? A lot of these newer people are just new to the whole scene. And 
let me be real with you. Most people who are commenting on the whole rap beef aren't even really rap fans, like genuine rap fans. It's like 12-year-old boys, the color of my palm, who are trying to comment on the situation, okay? Stop. Go ahead and continue cussing out your mother. Keep calling your mother a bitch. That's what you need to be doing right now. You should not be commenting on Kendrick and Drake, okay? Continue eating your chicken from Thanksgiving that has literally no ounce of seasoning, okay? That's what you need to be doing right now. Not worry about what we got going on over here, okay? Go do your homework, little Sam. Um, Now, I feel like personally, people don't know that Wayne is a legend. And to be the first of any award, that shows you that his impact is there. For him to even be a part of the start of a of a award plaque period of any type of any kind it's monumental give him his tens okay give him his tens people misconstrue defending yourself with whining and you know bitching what drake is doing right now is whining and bitching you know the suing and all that stuff that's whining and, and being you know um wayne just spoke up for what's right and he barely speaks up for any bar- wayne don't talk wayne be offline with half a dread in his scalp, okay, somewhere drugged up, all right, writing music, okay? He probably got um, the Carter 37 already done. Like, he, that's how much he be to himself. That's how much he's just in his own corner, working on his music and just chilling, you know? So when he speaks out one time, all of a sudden he's complaining and now he's getting awards for sympathy. Well, well, well. <laughs> Moving on to Nikki, the Pink Print album is recharting once again. Well, it is expected to chart once again after 10 years. Yes, congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Everybody should be doing a round of applause. Why aren't you clapping? Oh, you a hater. Okay, okay. Well, I should have known you were a hater. I can smell your breath through my screen right now, so that makes sense. Anyway. Um, I'm proud of her. This is a big deal. This is a very big deal. Um, 10 years later and you're charting. Now, let's get into the, 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 the stats, the numbers, okay? The actual, you know, statistics, analytics, okay? Um, the pink print is expected to spend its 124th week on the Billboard 200 at 28 with 22,000 copies sold. Man, this is 22,000 units sold. She ain't got to compete with a single soul 10 years later and she's still on the roll, okay? I think that personally... You know, this is not bad. And I say that because people are giving her backlash. Oh, only 22,000 sold? Baby, this is what new artists are getting, okay? This is what new rap girls are getting in their music. This is what the Lottos, the Megans, the Cardis, that is what they're getting on their albums, okay? And mind you, all she did was add a few new tracks to her new album, okay? Like, it, that's all she did. But people are saying, oh, like, Nicki was supposed to get 100K. Why would she get 100K on a 10-year-old, pro- 10-year-old project? That just that does nobody thought that nobody was expecting that nobody wanted that, I mean like like come on now nobody even knew this was coming out like that nobody even like if this was a this this was a very last minute project okay it's like when people have that one chance to try to like clock your T and clock your numbers and they be loud and wrong this is an example of that don't you, this is not clockable this is this is this is amazing because if if Megan Thee Stallion were to re release her album Good News in ten years. That shit would get two sales. Her and Jay-Z. All right? That's it. Only Megan and Jay-Z will be buying good news in 10 years. All right? Not e- even, even if Megan has a child. All right? They, they wouldn't even want to play good news. I'm just being real. And it's not even about the person or, you know, anybody's emotions towards any par- anybody. It's just the art itself. Good news. Um, even Glorilla's new album. Even Cardi, like, it's a lot of people's music in 10 years will not be relevant, will not be going viral on social media. Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, which is a 10-year-old song from Pink Print, is going viral today. A lot of these people do not have songs that can go viral in 10 years and still make noise and still even get any attention. So, 22,000 first week is cool for me because this is, like, the album, <laughs> at, least, at least Nicki giving people music. Unlike some of y'all faves. All right, y'all. Moving on to um, Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, like I just said. Um, Nicki Minaj's Anaconda is debuting top four on the TikTok Billboard charts. Okay, so the song is doing pretty well. It will be interesting if um, the song Anaconda goes so viral that it goes back on Billboard High 100. Okay, Um, like I said, the song is having a resurge in popularity again. And people are doing trends to the song, okay? Um, Now, Anaconda, to me, I think Anaconda is 
kind of the weakest track off the pink print i'm just being really honest here um typically the most viral and popular songs are the weakest like sfg is the weakest song on pf2 in my opinion don't don't try to argue with me this is my opinion okay and um, you know i think this is perfect promotion for the pink print 10th anniversary so congratulations to nikki and congratulations to anaconda to you know for longevity and real success Moving on to this next conversation, um, we're having a big conversation about dark skinned women and them being dirty or dirty looking. OK, now let me get into it. Let me break it down to you. No, nobody's saying that all dark skinned women are dirty. That's not the conversation here. But they're saying Sexy Red is dark skinned and dirty and she stinks. OK, because um, as of recently, the speculation was that, you know, the way she carries herself, the way she acts, she must be a dirty, filthy, disgusting woman, okay? And so much that even on Kai's stream, okay, you know Kai, Kai Sinat, um, they were making Kai smell her just to be sure that she don't stink. It's, it's really insane. It's really sickening, okay? Now, this may be very controversial, but I'm sorry, but the way Sexy Red carries herself, I don't see why people, you know, are mad at this. I mean, I'm just being honest here, Okay. Not all dark skinned women get the same treatment. You, nobody's, say, nobody's saying Kelly Rowland stinks. Nobody's saying that Coco Jones stinks. No. But I think it's not even really about being dark skinned or anything like that. It's more so just about the way Sexy Ray carries herself. I mean, look at her lip gloss line names. Look at the way she be posing. It's like, it kind of give me an odor sometimes. Like, I'm, and I'm not even trying to be mean, but some of the pictures look like they stink. And it's just a genuine, like, opinion call me mean call me call me colorist it's not even really me being colorist because i feel like the way she carries herself it kind of comes across as dirty period okay but i think sexy red is beautiful i think she's very smart she's smarter than you all think she's way smarter than you think and she knows how to harp on to controversy and use it to her game okay the smartest people know how to use controversy and help it benefit them help them get money okay but i mean i, I don't know i feel like having kai smell her on stream was kind of extreme like that was kind of like weird I, I wish she didn't even do it because it's like you giving the people who say that like attention you know what i'm saying to say that she stinks but i don't know i think that honestly it's not about her color of her skin it's more so about the way she moves that gives me that stink vibe like i like no shade some pictures i'm like girl did you wash today like did you really watch like did you like you know what i'm saying and i and i love sexy down like this is not hate like this is me just being very 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 honest okay but yes y'all comment down below what's your opinion let's move on to this next topic all right moving on to j cole aka ceo of dreamville okay i love cole um cole is actually one of my favorite artists all right um for sure and it officially is time to celebrate the 10 year anniversary okay a forest hills drive okay the album he released 10 years ago that took his career to a whole other level okay L literally like literally before this album i wasn't a fan of him I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be real with you i was i was like nine years old okay uh when this album came out okay j cole's 10th anniversary of 2014 forest hills drive will be released on december 6th okay features never before her tracks okay um it's gonna be on vinyl and cd with unreleased songs that nearly made the album. So I'm excited, okay? Um, I think this album is a very, very, very important album for hip hop, especially in today's century. Like, this album does not get enough credit at all. Um, J. Cole doesn't get enough credit at all in terms of being in the conversation for best rappers today. Like, Cole is like up there, I'm not gonna lie, he's up there with, with Jay-Z. Sorry, I'm gonna get so much comments, I'm gonna get so much hate, I'm gonna get so much backlash, but I just feel like, no shade, but Cole really got that, that 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 flow to him, and he has something to say. So not only is he talented lyrically, he also is very smart, and he knows how to use his words to convey a message and push a certain feeling and push a certain, you know, just emotion. So I love Cole a lot, and I think that Cole deserves some sort of, um, I don't know, MCV Vanguard Award. He needs something to, you know, get his crown because i feel like nobody gives him any props like that you know but yes congratulations to cole on his 10th anniversary um this is just the beginning this is just the beginning a lot of 10 year anniversaries are coming out right now okay go to show you that a lot of the best music that was dropped is old now like it's old old ass albums a lot of great music is from the past there's not a lot of music today that is 
considered great and timeless. And this is a timeless project for sure. Moving on to Doja Cat, they're calling Doja Cat the new queen of radio. <laughs> All right, okay, you know, every day y'all wanna give people these new titles. Every day is some new title, it's some new thing, the new wave. Anyway, Doja Cat's um, numbers are officially being predicted, okay? Um, they're saying she's the queen of radio for 2024 because her songs, Paint the Town Red and Agora Hills, rank among the top 10 most played songs on the radio this year, okay? Honey, that's payola. I repeat, honey, that's payola, okay? All right, that's payola. This is the Billboard's pop airplay chart. Honey, this is not a flex. I mean, it's great to be on radio. It's amazing. But, you know, some a lot of times radio hits are not really hits. They're just radio hits. And that's it. Some songs could be popping on radio but have no real impact in, like, the actual culture. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 like Agora Hills has no impact in no rap or pop culture like that. It doesn't. It's just a great song that went viral and, went, and they did good on radio. That's about it. So congratulations, but I don't think that being called a radio queen is a flex. Nobody, like, nobody, like, hello? Like, and mind you, it's for pop. Like, it's not hard to get on pop radio, okay? You can have a catchy hook, catchy chorus, catchy this, catchy that. Next thing you know, your label's gonna spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to get you on radio stations. So, you know, I don't think radio is a flex because it's like, you don't really earn radio play. Like, you just don't, it's not hard. You just just pay or just get into cahoots with people at different stations, different label heads, different managers, and now you everywhere on the radio, okay? And I said that because the radio plays the same 10 songs all the time, right? So it's all about politics. It's not really about the greatest music or the most creative or best stuff, okay? No. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. She is officially going away from social media, all right? She said, you know what, Heidi? This is my last post of the year before I stop being on social media. And it was her twerking with her lips showing. Girl, come on now. Put, come on, come on. Put some clothes on. It's like, it's like it, it, we're getting closer and closer to actually seeing it now. Okay, and I just can't get into that. It, it, it disturbs me. Why am I scrolling on Instagram, okay, or Twitter, and I'm seeing people repost this stuff and your lips all out? Okay, no, we don't want to see that. Especially not on Instagram. I can see Twitter. I can see Snap. Cool, but you on Instagram with it? Girl, put some clothes on. Some real clothes with, that cover up them lips. But anyway, she's going on break. And I think this is good. This is good for her mental health. You know, she's been flopping all year. So, you know, she needs to get offline and stop seeing the hate comments. Because the hate comments can definitely drive you into a frenzy if you are not careful. Okay? But I do think that, honestly, you know, social media has become more toxic than it has ever been. Like, we're at the point where now fans of the person... They're, like, literally being mean to their own favorite artists. It's sick. Like, people have become very mean, okay? I don't know what's going on, but the world has become very, very mean, all right? Um, I guess she's just protecting her energy. But you all know she's supposed to be dropping an act three of her album, Megan, okay? So maybe she's going on hiatus to do that. I hope she don't do that. I hope she does not do no act three. We don't want it. Nobody's asking for it. The second one flopped. The first one barely made noise in America, made more noise in Japan than it did in America, like that's your target audience though is america so i don't know it's just no 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 terrible 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 rollout okay let's move on to this next topic moving on to drizzy drizzy is officially starting his tour and um when he announced his tour i'm like who the hell is anita max win um i was confused but i did some research and i found out what it means or whatever cool but um you know it's like a child character, and this is turning people the wrong way. Um, they're saying that, oh my gosh, um, this is the worst time to be having a childlike feminine character as your tour poster. Because as you all know, there are a lot of rumors around Drake being a, you know, PDF file. Um, and that just has people talking like, Drake, why would you do this? But I think this is really just tying into the promotion and marketing, you know what I'm saying? But this does look like a kid's, like, TV show on Nick Jr., Okay, like this, like this, this is like a Nick Jr. cartoon. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but the tour starts in Melbourne, Australia, and then it's going to New Zealand. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty cool to see. It starts on the halftime show for Super Bowl. Very shady. You can just tell, like the way Drake is moving, he's very bothered. Like very, very bothered. You know, and it's crazy to see. 
But I guess Drake is going through his hate train era right now. And people are just like, baby, Drake, you're doing everything wrong. You know you're in your hate train era where everything you do, it gets criticized and just deeply critiqued. Um, and it gets turned around in a negative light. Like, for example, this tour poster, people are saying it's weird to have kid-themed poster due to the rumors around, around him right now. But you can comment down below. What do you think about this? What is your opinion? Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. All right, y'all. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Be safe, y'all. Uh -uh.